What a nice way to explore this area. Hello folks and welcome to today's video. I've made it to Keyson City, in particular Eastwood, and we're going to be exploring this entire area along with a few others in today's video. So join me. I've made it outside and I've had a little wonder and goodness me Eastwood is pretty impressive it seems as though it's a combination of residential commercial and a few lifestyle malls as you can see it's surrounded by skyscrapers and it's this very small concentrated area there's just so much color going on in this little plaza there's all sorts of interesting structures such as this which is made from metal plastic a few cones a pipe? I wonder if it's recycled material? Maybe. Somebody told me this area is actually known as the city wall. And there are these walkways that go over this entire pond. It's quite a big pond. It spans all the way underneath and over here. And there might be a fountain show that goes on here too, but it's not currently on. I wonder if it's under maintenance. Maybe, because look, that panel has been lifted up. There are actually fish in this pond. Is it a Japanese sort of inspired pond? Maybe. It certainly does give that sort of vibe. This culture is dedicated to the men and women that have found purpose and passion in the business process outsourcing industry. Their commitment to service is the lifeblood of Eastwood City, the birthplace of BPO in the Philippines. What grabbed my attention were these sort of food stalls, tables and chairs that are situated along here. Maybe this is only operational during the evening? Is there a food market that opens up here? Usually they have, but right now I don't know what time they will open. Ah, is it in the evening? Uh, maybe around the afternoon when it's not just that sunny. Every day? Uh, before, yes, it's every day. All right, thank you. Okay, okay. Located at the bottom of almost every palm tree in which I can see are a few seats. So if you did grab something from the market over there when it's operational, you can sit here over there. I can imagine this place being quite busy during the evening, but as everybody is at work, probably working in these sort of uh, commercial buildings, some residential, nobody's out at the moment. So we're going to go inside the mall and cool down. Uh, thank you, sir. Eastwood Wall feels pretty high-end. I do like these sort of checkered patterns that they've got going on the wall and on the floor tiling. And everything here seems to have like a very glossy finish and feel. The floor is incredibly shiny. The handrails are also too. Oh look, there's a carousel here. Can we go out here? Ah! So Eastwood is actually a mega world development. Oops, looks like it's locked. Having spoken to some of the people that work here, uh, they say this is only half the mall and the other half is located across the park. Ah oh, look, the water fountain's going on. Oh wow! Run, run, run! God damn it. Also, there's more. There's actually more of Eastwood Mall. It's probably still all owned by Mega World Corporation. Aha! Uh -huh. So we've got to cross this street here to get to City Walk. These areas probably come alive during the evening, but as I'm here in midday, it's fairly quiet. This is rather fancy. There's so much organized greenery in this portion. Wait, what on earth is that? They've got like a tram, but on wheels. San Francisco inspired. How do I get on that? Hello? Hello, sir. How do I get on that? How do I get on it? Do I just run up to it and then jump? Like that? Yeah. Yeah. How, how? The bus stop. I actually do want to ride that. Oh, is it free? Oh no. Oh, free. It's a free. A free? Wow. Yeah, it's a free. <laughs> Goodness. I have to ride it now. Let's see if we can go catch it. <laughs> Make sure we don't drop my glasses. Whoa. It's windy. Ah, oh, that's the bus stop. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, I can pump those legs. We made it! 
Hello. Free service, let's go. Woo. All aboard. Oh, it makes a U-turn. And then it goes back. It goes back around through Eastwood City. What a nice way to explore this area. Hello. 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 You okay? You okay? How many months are you? One year old. Oh, one year? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, what type of breed? It's Tweenie. It's a mix of Tweenie and Dachshund. I think I'm gonna head elsewhere, a place which I cannot remember, but it's known for its really trippy artwork. So that's where we're gonna to head to next. All right, I'm gonna get off here. Woo, thank you very much. Well, I popped into the Starbucks to charge my camera quickly because I failed to do so last night. And in the space of about 20 minutes being in there, the weather turned from a pretty much bright sunny day to this. Anyway, once I'm done charging my camera, I'm gonna head to Kubao. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna get there. I might have to take a taxi there and back because I don't really wanna have to ride the motorcycle in which I've rented in this pouring rain. But anyway, let's appreciate this flower mosaic pattern that's going down on the floor. Okay, goodbye for now, Eastwood City. Next stop, Kubao. Manila and Bangkok are very similar. Very, very similar. It looks like it's approaching rush hour here. Aha! This is it. Art in Ireland. Uh, so I've come to this location called Art in, Art in Ireland. That's what it's called. Bit of a weird name. But inside they've got really interesting 3D artwork that plays with your mind. They've been designed in a way where it's like an illusion and they kind of like stick out it looks incredible on the images. And this is actually one of the top things to do here in Kibao. 